The INFJ personality type, lazy but kind, philosophical but absent-minded, relaxed but serious. INFJs are lead introverted intuitive types and today we are answering some of the most common questions about INFJs. For example, we ask ourselves, what is the best career for an INFJ? What does an INFJ need in relationships? And what does introverted intuition really look like for an INFJ? Now, it will take a longer time to figure out the complexity of the INFJ personnel type than it will take to figure out the inner workings of our surrounding stars and galaxies. The human mind is infinitely complex, but hey, let's try it. Now, first question is why are INFJs such enigmas? And I want to say that in the beginning, I think God made first 15 personnel types. But then after doing that, he found that something was missing. All the other 15 personality types were so boring and predictable. So God decided to get high and the result was the INFJ personality type. Now, jokes aside, why do so many people really identify as an INFJ online while so few, few people do in reality? Well, first, INFJ articles online are very generous and tend to paint the INFJ as the jack of all trades personality type. So that means INFJs are described online as the most extroverted of all introverts, the most logical of all feeling types, and the most messy of all judging types. So this makes it very easy for any type to identify as an INFJ. We are really the catch-all type online, and there are INFPs, INTPs, ENFPs, ENFJs, ISFJs out there writing articles about what it's like to be an INFJ. Now, how do you really know if you're an INFJ then? Well, first, avoid these kind of catch-all phrases, you know, have you ever felt like there was something special about you, that you were different from others? Have you ever felt misunderstood by your friends or family members? I, I see statements like these all over the internet, but these statements are more for the Enneagram 4 personality type, not the INFJ personality type. Now, feeling misunderstood is a very real thing, so if you struggle with these things, you should check out what it's like to be an Enneagram 4 type. What makes an INFJ an INFJ? Well, first, you like to focus on forming and developing theories and mental frameworks to understand the world. You're often inattentive to what is happening around you, and sometimes you don't really hear or participate in what's happening in the real world. Third, you see it as your purpose to create a more harmonious world and to help people better understand each other's. The focus on the community at large is very unique to the INFJ. One question I got is, do INFJs have a Jesus complex? And I want to say that as introverted judging types, I think INFJs tend to be very focused on their own personal responsibilities. And those responsibilities tend to be of a moral and existential nature. That means INFJs, they tend to see it as their personal duty to make sense of chaos and evil in the world and to set an ideal and to be a positive example for other people to follow. But this ideal can be impossible to uphold and can cause them to neglect their personal needs and feelings. Now, how does introverted intuition and I work? Well, INFJs, they tend to naturally doubt everything they see and hear. So this is the cognitive pattern of the type, to be naturally suspicious or critical of existential uh, beliefs and norms in your society. So instead, as an INFJ, you seek to create your own interpretation of reality. You're attracted to strange or unusual perspectives on real-life events and experiences. You don't want to think like everyone else. You want to find your own way to approach and see the world. Now, the idea is that new perspectives will drive some kind of a personal transformation for an INFJ. By figuring things out, you will gain access to hidden knowledge and you will grow as a person. So how does extorted feeling work in an INFJ? Well, INFJs, they tend to rely on kind of a soft and subtle charm and diplomacy rather than more direct methods of extroverted feeling. That means their FE is very low in energy. They can, for example, use FE to make themselves a bit smaller to give other people more space, or they might use it to make other people relax. These are some of the subtle ways that INFJs use extroverted feeling. Sharing your warm blanket or letting other people have the lost cookie. 
what type is best at helping an INFJ grow? I would say the ENFP personality type tends to be the most conducive to INFJ growth. That means ENFPs tend to take the role of the INFJ's muse. Their curious temperament tends to naturally fill the INFJ mind with the right questions necessary to find the right answers. So if you ever feel stuck, consider talking to an ENFP. Often they can help bring ideas to the surface, can help you verbalize your thought process. So one question is, what is the difference between an INFJ child and adult? I would say INFJs tend to develop an existential worldview at a very young age, but often that worldview tends to be kind of abstract and impractical. So in early adult years, this worldview tends to become more concrete. You find practical lifestyle choices, a workplace that matches up to your needs. Now, you're all about testing and proving your theories in the real world. So once you know who you are, and when you figured out those questions, you'll know and be developed and self-actualized as an INFJ. What are the INFJ subtypes? Well, first we have the introverted subtype, then the intuitive subtype, then the feeling subtype, and then the judging subtype. So the judging subtype is the most commonly studied one, the one that wants to transform the community to be in line with their ideals. But the INFJ NIFI subtype is also very common to talk about. What is the NITI loop? Well, when you're tired or disappointed at life for some reason, INFJs can become critical of their own worldview. They might think that their unhappiness comes from ignorance about the world or how things work. You must have the wrong philosophical attitude. You must have the wrong perspective. You must have something wrong. So introverted thinking can convince an INFJ to figure out what it is that is wrong. And this can cause you to become turned inwards, constantly trying to fix or answer a difficult question mentally. But be careful, this doesn't cause you to neglect the real world and the relationships around you. What is the extroverted sensory SE grip? I think when real life pressures become too real for an INFJ, it can be very difficult. So when you feel too overwhelmed by what's happening around you, you might become restless, you might start acting chaotically, you might answer on impulse, you might talk or act on autopilot. So the SE grip is kind of a grip where you lose control and grasp of what you're doing and you start acting purely on instinct. What does INFJ body language look like? Well, it's kind of a soft squint, a relaxed gaze, furrowed, concentrated eyebrows, a serious expression, a playful, charming smile, an understanding, listening expression, mildly tensed muscles between the nose, making the gaze seem more focused, an analytical expression, as if you are interpreting or analyzing what people are saying. These are the hallmark qualities of an INFJ. Now, INFJs come in all sizes and shapes, so never try to generalize or stereotype based on face structures or no sizes or things like that. It's all relative. What careers are good for INFJs? I think the best job for an INFJ is as a writer, researcher, freelance journalist, talk show host, movie director, political activist, social entrepreneur, counselor, or spiritual guide. So there's not just one size fit all career for an INFJ, but you'll try to move in the sweet spot of somewhere in these areas. So try to make sure that you are influencing the world and how people see the world and that you get the chance to think about things philosophically. Choose a job that allows you to interact with and help people and a job where you get to learn and think for yourself. So that was my video about INFJ personnel type. And I know probably I didn't answer every single question, but I hope I'm starting a discussion because I think INFJs really deeply need introspection. I think INFJs deeply need introverted feeling. So I think a lot of INFJs need to work on their relationship to themselves and who they are. So try to... And this is my project for you. Take some time for yourself in these coming weeks. Time to reflect on who you are and what you need and what you feel and what you want out of life. So really get to know yourself and really respect and understand yourself. Because it's so easy to get lost in what everybody else wants. But then my question for you is, what do you want? What do you need to be happy?